In tonight's show, I reveal how brilliantly the vaccine is working out and why you must remain in lockdown for the rest of your life, as governors estimate it will only be safe to gather with other people again in about 10 generations from now. Don't miss more uplifting breaking news stories like this, all on The Dr. James Show. In a remarkable achievement, the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Pfizer has been found to be 94% effective in preventing the infection. Oh, this is just all that we needed to hear in a time of lockdowns and record unemployment and depression. Even more remarkable is that in the US alone, 98.26% of people who didn't receive the COVID-19 vaccine recovered from COVID-19. It looks like not getting the COVID-19 vaccine is a powerful pathway at preventing COVID-19 deaths. But hey, don't pay any attention to that. You should get the vaccine anyway because it's such a wonderful experience. Just listen to this nurse who recently took the vaccine. I recently took the COVID-19 vaccination. After the shot, I felt fine. But within three days, I went to the doctor because I had problems with my face. The whole left side of my face, actually. Um, I have Bell palsy now. And as you can see, I can't smile. I'm trying to smile. I'm just kind of embarrassing for But I just want everyone to know that I think this vaccination is the worst thing ever. But there's no need to panic. This is not an isolated case. Now, here's a picture of three out of four volunteers who developed Bell's palsy during the Pfizer vaccine trials. I mean, they don't look so bad. Do they? And just in case the fact-checking police tell you this claim is false, here's a news report that fact-checked the information. To be clear, four participants in the Pfizer vaccine trial and four participants in Moderna's trial did experience Bell's palsy, which in its simplest form causes the face to droop. So there you have it. You must obey the experts and believe the vaccine is safe. And if you get Bell's palsy, Well, you can always wear a mask for the rest of your life to cover your face. We must not forget how dangerous this virus is. In fact, it's so dangerous that over 80% of infected people simply don't experience any key symptoms. That's right. COVID-19 has shown to be 80% effective against COVID-19 symptoms. Now, these symptoms include fever and chills, a cough, (coughs) shortness of breath, and a headache. In other words, COVID-19 is so deadly that 80% of people don't even know they have it. But wait, independent fact-checkers will probably check this video and still flag it for containing false information that can mislead people. Even though all the information I just shared comes straight from the CDC and University College London. In other news, you don't know anyone who's come down with a simple cold or flu since last March, do you? That's right, because those things don't exist anymore. According to the CDC, flu cases in countries across the world have amazingly decreased during the COVID pandemic. What's even more amazing is that in the US, the flu decreased by 96%. Now, I guess someone cured the common flu, right? But let's not talk about that any further or we'll get into trouble. Uh Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Something's come along and it's burst our bubble. Now on to the lockdowns. They've been so effective that in Japan in October alone, There were more suicides related to the misery of the lockdowns than there were COVID deaths in all of 2020. So you see, lockdowns really are working. People are killing themselves before they even get COVID. 
And although more kids are dying of suicide than COVID, schools must remain closed indefinitely to protect our children. No, stop. Think of the children. Think of the children. <laughs> Won't somebody please think of the children? Since lockdowns began in the US, about 100 children and teenagers died of COVID. Yet there are more than 6,200 children and teenagers who died by suicide. Luckily, the thing that is killing 62 times more this year than COVID are things less deadly than COVID. But that doesn't matter. Governors are saying that the only way to improve the misery of lockdowns is with more strict lockdowns. And don't you dare disobey the diktats of officials, or else. And this is how it's going to be. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. The time for educating people into compliance is over. The one thing all these officials agree on is that lockdowns save lives. Just like the mayor of Austin, Texas, Steve Edler, who insisted residents stay at home while he went to Mexico on a vacation. Oh, that must have been so idyllic as the rest of us suffer being restricted to getting stress relief in our own backyards. He has been running for just over two hours, so for two hours of welcome. Another dictator, the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, had to one-up Steve Edler by cancelling everything, which has become a very effective method for killing people before the virus kills them. But forget all of that, because lockdowns are unquestionably the best thing to do, right? According to the World Food Programme, the number of people that will be facing acute food shortages by the end of 2020 will be 265 million. And it is estimated that lockdowns will push another 150 million people into extreme poverty this year. But hey, while you're unemployed and starving, you can feel good that the US government is giving away COVID relief money to countries like Venezuela and Pakistan. So it's very clear that the public and the other experts who are allowed to talk all want more lockdowns. And that's it for tonight's news. Go back to sleep, America. Believe all that the media are telling you, comrades. And remember, don't question anything. Just let officials and experts do the thinking for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share this video and hit that subscribe button to never miss my show and watch more great content from What TV. What Studios is now open. Audio and video production services at affordable prices. Check us out at www.watchstudios.org for more details.